Hi, my name is Chris Wilson with the Kamloops Disc Golf Club and this is how I made my homemade practice baskets. First off I'm going to go over some of the hardware that I use to help give you an understanding of what you may uh, need when you're putting it together. First of all what I have here is a, about a half inch self tapping metal screw and also the same with a, a short stubby wood screw that's got some pretty aggressive stuff on there. Obviously you're going to need your chain you want the two inch links there. This is a galvanized set. It's uh, offered in a couple other finishes, but galvanized is preferred if you're going to be leaving it out with the elements. And a small S hook, which we're going to use to uh, attach it to the chain. Some uh, eight inch L brackets for the basket. And some good old uh, tubing here. Now I use this, uh, I got this from, I believe it was underground sprinkler tubing. So that's some of the stuff I used. And uh, here's how I put it all together. For the chain assembly at the top, Basically what's used here is uh, as an old bicycle rim and this is obviously not completed yet but just to give you an idea of, of how the whole system works put uh, basically measured it out and have the, the 12 links in the outer took off the tire and drilled some holes around and uh, made space for the 12 inner or the 12 outer chains and for the inner chains I just used some uh, some rubber tubing here to help keep the chains in where they're supposed to. Another easy way as I'll show you on my other basket is some duct tape or electrical tape on both sides to help keep the, the chains where they're supposed to be. So there's a front rim from a bike. Basically just remove the, uh, the axle from it. And uh, once you remove that, you're looking at the fence post. So this is basically a basic fence post from Home Depot. And I uh, run about 10 bucks for one of those. And uh, they come, I believe, in 8 and 10 foot, so you're probably going to have to cut it down a little bit to hit the right, uh, the right height. This is uh, obviously an umbrella base, which I found to be the best value and the best way to keep, that, uh, keep your basket up and from falling over. This one I actually got at a garage sale for 5 bucks, so best places to, to find a lot of this stuff is garage sailing. And uh, always keep your eye out and have an idea of what you're looking for. This is one of my completed baskets. This is actually my personal basket. And, I was lucky enough to have a friend donate a nice tire there and as you can see here the front tire of uh, the front rim of this tire here has uh, the uh, brake system the disc brake system for a bike so I was able to hang uh, the inner six chains from there and then did the duct tape rolls on the intermediate chains and the same with uh, the links on the outside now these ones I used uh, some clothes hanger at the bottom just put together in a circle and then duct taped off of course and uh, then we move down to the basket. The basket, we have about a 22 inch circumference on the wood. And uh, what I have here is some eight inch L brackets, which I bolted to the bottom uh, with the short wood screws and uh, obviously come up, stick up about eight inches and uh, taken some of the tubing from the underground sprinkler systems and put slits in it. Shoved it down over and, uh, and then taped it off around. And then what I did here, because there was a large amount of space in between the brackets is just run some electrical tape through and then around and it gives it some durability but uh, you're not going to lose any discs in or out so that's the basket uh, at the end of the day this was my first design a lighter design is moving to something like an 8 inch L bracket like this and you basically put it where you need it to be and uh, you can actually screw through these holes I drilled a, a new hole in the middle and then used the bottom one as well and the short fat screws into uh, into the uh, tubing here which worked really well and uh, another great way to make a basket is uh, by using those around. Also gives you some, some ribs on the inner side of the basket to help keep the disc in when they land. And then uh, the bottom of it, uh, I've got three L brackets with some self-tapping metal screws that uh, just basically get a drill and get them going and they'll tap themselves and get it in. And then uh, an umbrella base is again, again for the base. Now hopefully this uh, gave you some ideas on how to put some homemade baskets together. And uh, if you love froth like I do, then uh, hopefully you get some done, whether you're making one for practicing or making a homemade course. Help support disc golf and uh, check out kdgcgod.com. Take care.